What is up YouTube and welcome back to Almighty Reacts, the home of sports reactions. So today we're going to be watching the greatest American sports moment of all time. This is called Miracle on Ice and apparently it's when the American hockey team beat the Soviet Union in hockey. I don't see why that's such a big deal, but I guess we're going to find out. The title is the bowl title. Like, comment, subscribe for anybody who's already a part of the community. I appreciate you. I do. Alright, so let's go ahead and check this out, man. Let's see if this lives up to the to the title. Greatest American sports moment of all time. 1967. The late 60s, early 70s, we were a fractured country in terms of Vietnam. You need Yeah, 1967. Is that the Vietnam War? No, not Vietnam War. I don't even know the Vietnam War. I ain't paying attention to history. <laughs> the defining moment of the late 70s for Americans was the hostage crisis. Our hostages were being held in Iran. The country wasn't very happy with Iran. Iran. We really didn't feel that good about each other. The times weren't good. Cold War. It's really something that, that has become much more than a hockey game, and it became a political and social and economic statement. Somebody wrote that the ice will melt and turn to gold before the U.S. wins a game like this. And a bunch of college kids basically, in effect, beating a, an, an amateur team, but we all knew what they were. They were all listed as soldiers and as soldiers. But this is the Olympics. The players. But they just said the they're using their amateur team. Why? Why is that? Can someone explain that to me? With an undefeated record and it's the Olympics. Why would why would why would you take NHL players? All right, no, I think the Russians are the greatest hockey team in the world. Okay, so this is why it's a big deal. The Russians were the best. Soldiers more than you were hockey players, and was this kind of a representation? And the U.S. is playing with an amateur team. How did they pick these players? One zero. One zero. Team USA was assembled by Coach Herb Brooks from the University of Leeds. Herb's goal was to get them to focus their hatred on him. One zero. Unified, become one. If you hate one person more, it brings you together. It was something he was trying to put together an American style of hockey that would reflect who America is. Okay, we got it back. There you go. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> what a goal. What a goal. Let's go. USA. USA. Oh, oh, <laughs> she's a little weak ass back, that's what he said. Oh shit, I thought he caught that, damn. 2-1, since there's no scoreboard, I gotta keep up with the, the score, which I usually don't, because there's always a score on the screen. And they were just students. These guys obviously have played together for years and years. Yeah, what is CCCCCCP? What the hell is that? What does that even stand for? <laughs> Soviet Union? Russia? That's a bit all we can ask for. I'm sick and tired. CCCCP. Great hockey team. Yeah. That was pretty far. Why would you even try that? Goal! There you go. There you go. Okay, I said, why would you even try that? I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. Yeah. That's what we came for. 2-2. Two 2-2. -two. Two -two. Mark Johnson. Yeah, who won 
the Soviet Union goalie, and I think universally considered to be one of the best ever to play the game. There's the line, Daniel, because Central into the third period after it looked for a fleeting moment as if Heisler might not allow the goal. This was so much more than a game, wasn't it? I mean, this was really, I don't think it's an understatement to say this was freedom versus communism. You knew that game was Also, yeah, obviously, the Soviet Union, they were communists, so. Yeah, so, so what, whoever wins the game, the U.S., the U.S. goes into communism, fight, let's go, let's go, yeah, we're here for it, the U.S. goes into communism, let's just Force to free their people. Let my people go. Damn. Got his ass. 3 2, right? Yeah. Let's go, buddy. Is it 3 3? 3 3. Tied game. Let's go. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's what we came for. Hey, he hit him with that. <laughs> he hit him with that running man. Let's go. All right, buddy. <laughs> There you go. USA. There you go. Freedom. Send them Soviets back where they came from. No disrespect to the Soviets at all. I just work here. I just work here. I just say what I'm supposed to say. It's a scripted show. Scripted. <laughs> Sometimes I just say stuff. Alright? God damn. There you go. They got the Jason mask on. How come the goalies don't wear the Jason mask no more? I feel like those were fire, bro. Look at that. So these were amateur players? What, what were they? High school players? Is that what they were? Or just like they had an open tryout or something? Is that how, how they picked these players? Matter of fact, who is the best amateur player right now? Like in 2021, who's the best amateur player right now? I'm going to leave... Uh, I'm going to leave my Instagram in the description. So if anybody can, can DM me. DM me. DM me on Instagram. I see all my Instagram DMs. Uh, and send me the name or a link. Whatever it is that you can find on the best high school player in the country right now. I want to know. Amateur, high school. Let's do high school. Let's do high school. Yeah. Send me the best high school player right now. And I'll react to his highlight video. If he has a highlight video. Uh, yeah. I'll leave my Instagram in the description. That's a miracle right there. <laughs> They're happy. <laughs> An amateur team beating the best team in the world. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. It's a big moment. It's a big moment. It's a big moment. That's fire. Especially given, given everything that was going on during that time, I guess, the Cold War. 
That was against the Russians, right? I'm assuming. Yeah. Y'all hate us because they don't ain't us. They hate us because they ain't us. I went outside and I saw fireworks and I saw people dancing in the streets and like glass. We are proud now to present the victors in the ice hockey competition. That must be a crazy feeling to not even be a pro and win the Olympics. Poverty, be able to bring a country together. Not so much as not you're not even a professional, bro. You win the Olympics. That's fire right there. Never happened before. I can't imagine. I like that. The game forever dubbed the miracle on ice. The miracle on ice. It's difficult to overstate the importance of a miracle on ice. It's been credited with everything from Hollywood's obsession with sports movies to a rebirth. How come I never heard of the miracle on ice? But I'm glad I did now. Big part of U.S. American history. They, they should teach us in school. Why don't, why don't they teach us in history class? I've already learned about this. Fire, bro. Straight fire. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for today. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Anybody who's already a part of the community, I appreciate you. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Again, send me the best high school player in the country that you can find right now on my Instagram. Have a good day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I want to whip with the trunk in the front. Damn, family proud of me. They know I'm running the court because I ball. Like it was five of me. Give it back, I'm with the curve. Like I was wrong. Y'all niggas lied to me. This thing I never gave up, huh? I told you I felt it inside of me. The balls that came in the room, we bring it back. No, I don't listen to strangers. Fur on my coat, G on my belt. You don't exist, so glad that I'm